Good morning, tubers. It is January the 28th, and I am beginning a new project of making biochar. Biochar is basically homemade charcoal, and um, it is something that I've never used before. We'll be putting it into the mix with my manure and my rice holes and we'll be charging this biochar with uh, nutrients and it'll be part of that new wicking system well, what we've got is a 55 gallon drum in the bottom of this 55 gallon drum are slots and a hole and that hole is lined up with a gap between the two sets of pavers and I have <laughs> it's kind of a long pipe but I don't want to cut that just for this uh, I have a inflatable house bouncy house air pump and I'm gonna use that to help feed oxygen at um, an accelerated rate into the burn chamber those are two retort I believe that's what you call them retort cans and uh, there are the lids I've burned them all we did a burn just to clean everything up get everything burnt off of them because it had uh, some kind of a lack lacquer that they use in cabinets I got them from a cabinet company I, along with all these little pieces of maple and oak and all these different little um, spoils from where they uh, build their cabinets. It's a great place to get my future charcoal. So with that said, I'm going to load those into here and um, put the lids on them. In the lids there's holes. Those will go upside down. The whole can will be turned upside down so that the gases can escape out of those holes. And um, as those things are starting to basically bake, charcoal is not burned, it's cooked. So they'll cook inside those drums while the flames are going on the outside. And I'm going to use these pallets as my um, fuel. I can show you this too. I built my own chimney and all I did was you can see I've got a couple screws holding it in I cut diagonals across and just bent each triangular piece in and put a screw through a few of them and that holds my stack on pretty simple the buckets will be separated by couple pieces of tube steel and there's tube steel in the bottom that helps keep them off the ground and both of those fit in there two two buckets fit in there right nicely there we go okay tubers I added a whole bunch of um, paper and stuff to get the thing lit it's a bunch of old bills and stuff I got to burn anyway so I'm getting the thing started and then I'm gonna put that lid on and we're gonna let her sit I'm also going to fire that thing up and start forcing some air in there to get that thing really going. There we go. After a while, that smoke ought to stop because that's really all that paper burning. And we'll come back periodically.
you were starting to get less smoke. We're learning together, tubers. Finally got the heater hung. It's not level. And it's got to go back towards the wall a little bit before I can hook up all the vent pipes. But uh, it is hung. I wanted to show you that. Also wanted to show you something else. Um, crossbow, CB. Uh, he's got a channel and I will put it in the uh, uh, description down below and maybe a link in the video. But he gave me a heads up on how to take care of these uh, these paint strainers when you get them out of the uh, buckets at the end of the season they're all nasty and they got you know roots all the way through them he said just to hang them up outside and I think I've heard that before and they'll they'll bleach themselves out and I did a few already and you can see the difference these have uh, been out the longest, but let me show you these over here. Right, these were done outside. Um, not outside, but in here, just like I did those other ones across the bench. And you can see the roots are all bleached out and dry, and they're easy, they're easy to shake them. Just shake them off. You can see them falling to the ground. Thank you, CB. Appreciate it, Crossbow, uh, for reminding me of a good way to do this. Still got the biochar going outside. No real uh, update, but I'll show you this one. That thing is really cooking pretty good. In fact, uh, it's almost too close. The heat is pretty intense. I've never done this before it's still really hot I'll probably give it another hour or two I pulled the lid off and look at it there's still some holes down in the bottom uh, but it's just about done so uh, I'll give it another hour or two and then I'll, I'll shut off the fan and let it kind of cool down and then we'll see what we got all right tubers I've uh, pulled the two cans out and I'm gonna let them cool that has burned down to pretty much nothing there's a little ash in the bottom uh, but I'm gonna turn these over so there's no oxygen that gets in those things and they'll give it a chance to just cool down I don't want them to start catching fire but I don't know if you can see down in there or not but no. anyway We'll get those uh, cooled off and then we'll show you what my first batch of biochar looks like. And let's just uh, pry these back. I only locked a few tabs. Let's see what we got. Looks good. <laughs> hear that sounds like glass that one's not done just crumbles I say that's successful my kiln works I'll go plant some dirt. 
We'll see you next time. If you can see me, the fish has come up and get some food. It's been pretty warm, so maybe they will. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, a few right off the bat.